everyone and welcome back! We are here in WolfQuest 2.7 and we are here with Eclipse who just had a very interesting dream where he worked very very hard to try to take out a bull elk and he was going to be super tough and tell his pu future puppies all about the day when dad was able to take out the big tough elk. But the reality of it is that the bull elk managed to kill us just as we managed to kill him. So we're saying that was just a bad dream for Eclipse and we're going to go ahead and move on and let Eclipse focus on trying to find a mate. So we're back up in the Soda Butt Vista where it, where he was taking his nap, we're going to say, and had that interesting dream. And we are still at 715 pack experience points. So we're gonna try to get just a few more experience points. We're going to start working our way down towards Amethyst Mountain because I wanna go find a mate at Amethyst Mountain. And I've heard people quote numbers from 550 to 750 to 900 for what you need to find a mate. So now we're going to go over to the mountain and that's going to be our main focus is just trying to find a mate. We might take out another cow elk really quickly because we do, or that coyote, we'll take out this coyote. Oh yeah, we're a little bit faster than you. We're just faster than you enough for our jaws to matter. Down coyote, down, down. You shall not eat my future puppies. All right, and that gave us a little bit more experience because that is what our role is as the predator, is to eliminate competition, it's to kind of inadvertently help regulate the ecosystem because again, they're not thinking consciously, hey, I'm gonna like make sure the coyote population stays down so the coyotes don't eat my future babies. They're not thinking all the way that far out, but there's definitely a correlation that I'm sure behavior and evolution and habitat uh, and habits that the animals develop just kind of prompt them towards. All right, so let's go ahead and rest in the shade for just a moment. Let's see, we're gonna work our way over to where the elk are. And this time we're not going to mess with the bull elk. That was hubris, which is like ego. That was me thinking, hey, wouldn't it be cool if Eclipse could go down and wolf quest like legacy history as the wolf who took out the elk? Yeah, he kind of died. That was really, mm. it was an excellent object lesson in how that's not the way it works in nature. You don't take out the strongest. There's no point, you, the meat's gonna taste the same. It's gonna fill your belly the same as if you took out the weakest, which is much safer for you. The whole point is to try to survive. All right, and I think we just entered the hunting ground. So let's go find ourselves a nice weak cow elk to chase down and help top off. There they are. All right. So we're gonna come over. Here's the herd moving through again. There's some cow elk. There's the bull elk once again. No, you don't, don't kick me. All right, and let's just, let's just scatter them. Oh, there's one. Perfect, so already we have found a weakened bull, or a weakened cow elk. And we are gonna be able to hunt her down. Come here. All right, so we're gonna rest for just a moment, kind of recover our stamina. She is trying to work her way back with the herd, who, if she's lucky, will give me some free kicks, and so they'll attack me and kick at me to keep me away from them without her having to worry about it. All right, come on, come on. All right, we almost got you. She's given us a couple of pretty fair-sized kicks, so we're taking a little damage, but it's nothing compared to the strength and the power and the pain that the bull elk was inflicting. All right, now let's see if we can get her. I'm just doing kind of some flybys to try to avoid her hooves. And then right here, right here, right here. All right, just another bite. Oh, almost, she, she got us tangled in her legs, but there we go should be the last bite there and 100 more experience points for us and that was much easier than when we tried to take out the big tough bull elk it didn't work the meat like I said is gonna fill our bellies the same and that just teaches us a lesson and if we want to be a good predator you gotta think through what you're doing so let's check pack stats we're now at 840 which is over the some of the numbers people have quoted for needing to find a mate and under what some of the other people have quoted. So let's work our way up to Amethyst Mountain now. And we're gonna see if we can find some other wolves. So, so far we've met two druid males in different areas. We've met one over at the Vista. We've met another down in the Grassy Plains. And we're trying to find a female now who we would be able to claim as our own mate. So, well I say claim, they really, they get along. All right, and pick each other as mates. All right, 
And we're gonna take out this coyote. There we go. So that coyote, getting a little closer, filling our role as, as a predator. All right, and so far I haven't noticed like the napping thing. I haven't been able to make the, the sleep thing happen where it transitions into night. So I'm not sure if, how that works or if that works. All right, so we're working our way back up Amethyst Mountain. It's about time to start having puppies. Even if he can't take out big bull elk and claim his fame that way, Eclipse has been able to fill the role that he needs to of being able to defend territory by chasing off other wolves. He's been able to feed himself. He's been able to avoid getting eaten by the grizzly bear. And other than that odd dream, he's been able to avoid dying. So he's doing pretty good. All right. Oh man, climbing up the mountain. Are we in wolf territory? We're in wolf territory. All right. So let's see if we can find where the other wolves are. So we've got our, our sniffer to the ground. We're trying to find their scent. Apparently we are downwind right now. So we might want to move this way a little bit. So I don't see anybody just yet. And the mountain is kind of hard to like climb. Eclipse is definitely slowed down on the mountain slopes. We're not much of a, a little billy goat. All right. And last time we didn't really find any other wolves. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, it begins, territory marker. Are we going this way? I think we're going this way, we're going this way. Oh boy, you guys. Two minutes ago, territorial markers. One minute ago, there's somebody here. <gasps> Could this be our new mate? Could this be our new mate? Are you a female? It's a male, it's a male specimen. What up? So he's like, what's up? Um, Let's try, I can wait just to see how it goes. I'm no threat to you. All right, well, you're no threat to me. I'm no threat to you. I love his coloring. It's cool. All right, so we, we won't attack him because I don't think it really gains any experience. So I think we're just gonna kind of glance at each other. I'll stay put. Okay, I'll leave. And then we'll just kind of like walk away from one another. So that can also happen too. It doesn't always have to be in like aggressive fighting. Now here we go, look for a mate. You haven't found a mate yet, but there are lots of wolves out there still. You better, uh, you'll do better if you gain experience by hunting elk, keep looking. Your ideal mate should be about two years old, a dispersal wolf like yourself, a wolf that has left its family or natal pack to find a mate, and of good temperament. So not a mate who's too aggressive. So let's go ahead and we will pop out of this territory, turn around. I'm not sure if that's how it works now. Um, that's how it used to work in the old wolf quest is you had to like leave the wolf territory and then as soon as you did You can kind of just like loop back around so we can just kind of now that we're out of it turn around and go back up <laughs> And then once you go back into the wolf territory You can hopefully find a new wolf roaming around. So that's our goal is we're looking for our lady friend Okay, we're back in here. I hope this will work and we don't have to like wander between each big area every single time because that would be a little bit annoying. But we've got to look around. So we ran into that male, didn't really fight with him. The aggression level for the wolves around here at least seems lower. The grassy plains ones were like ready to take our throat out. <gasps> here we go again, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, going this way? We're going this way. All right, another wolf spotted. Is it gonna be, is it gonna be our female? Where'd it go? Are you nearby? How did I lose your scent? Okay, going this way? Three minutes ago, three minutes ago. Is it dispersing? Okay, let's go this way then. Oh, here we go, this is better. How did I miss you? Did I walk right by you? Hello? Hello? Where are we going? It, it's dispersing again. We have like a phantom wolf. Was this? Was this, this was exactly the spot we were just at. Aw, oh, man. All right, so I think we're gonna have to keep moving. I wonder if we don't have enough experience yet. We may not have enough experience for a mate yet. Really? Really? Aw, oh, man. All right, well, let's go ahead. We'll go, we'll go across the burn, I think, and down into the grassy plain, and we'll see if we can find, maybe we can, you know, an aggressive mate who wants to rip our throat out may not be a good thing. 
but potentially a mate who would be really good at like defending the den. We're good at providing. If she could be really good at defending and like take out all the coyotes and the eagles and the grizzly bears and the many, many, many other things that would try to eat our puppies, that could be potentially a good thing in a mateship too. So we're gonna work our way over here since we weren't able to find a female at Amethyst Mountain like I really wanted. And we'll just go down to Grassy Plains. So far we've met all male wolves too. So we need to hopefully, oh, 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 coyote, coyote. Hey you, hey you. Okay, I'm too tired to chase the coyote. Let's rest for just a second. Still got my eyes on him. All right, is he gonna see us if we creep up on him? We're kind of out in the open though. Oh, he saw us, all right. All right, I'm coming for you, little guy. Coyotes have a really bad reputation in the United States and they're killed by the thousands as pests every year, but they do have their role, their very important role in the ecosystem as well. And where'd the bunny go? I want the bunny. All right, where'd you dart off to, little prey item? Oh, that was the coyote. Okay, so who knows where the bunny ran off to? All right, now we are working our way over to the elk hunting ground. We'll try taking out another elk because we're almost at 900. So who knows how much experience we need to have before we're able to get a mate. Who knows how long? I would love to learn how long it actually takes most wolves on average to find a mate, especially in the very fragmented ecosystems that we now have where you can't really expect for wolves to be able to travel easily. They have to like go through very open risky areas to be able to get to where the forests are healthy enough and big enough to support other wolf populations where they could potentially find a mate. Look at the burn. Look at all these these trees all dried up. And in some places, uh, like in Australia and some places in the United States and other places of the world, a regular forest fire is actually necessary to even make the trees grow, to make them release their seeds, to make certain plants grow. I know in the United States um, Great Prairie, where I used to live, occasionally it was expected that you would have a fire come through and go ahead and clear away a lot of the grass, which we're not going to lay down in right now, Eclipse. And some of the grass relied on regular fires in order to make it stronger. Oh, here we go. We're out in the open, exposed during a storm. There should be... Here we go. Oh, there's the elk herd. Okay, well, let's go ahead. We're going to pick off one of the weak females. Cow elk, cow elk. We're going to ignore the bull elk. All right, let's see who... Whoa, anybody who stands their ground, I don't want any, any part of. All right, there, this one. She's the weakest. All right, we've singled her out. And she's going to be dinner. All right. All right, there we go. Come on. She's weakening a little bit, but I'm tired. So let's rest for just a second. We've successfully separated her from the herd. And now we need to gain this kind of experience in hunting to be able to have the experience we need to get our mate. So, okay, come on. All right, we're going to rest again. Just kind of recover. She's pretty injured, so she's not really gonna go anywhere this time. And we'll loop back around. And are we gonna get her? Okay, gotta be careful. She's gonna turn, kick, defend, because she feels like this is the, the end. And I'm sorry to say, ma'am. I wonder, man, do we get her? Oh my goodness, there we go. And we got her. All right, so we definitely have a lot of experience now. We can dive right in, kind of enjoy our meal. There we go. There we go. And we have plenty of experience. So let's check that, 990 experience. So hopefully that's enough to finally find a mate. So tell you what, let's go down to the grassy plains and that's gonna be just right down here. And let's see if we can find one more wolf and we're gonna see if it's a male or if it's a female. Hopefully it will be the female that we will be able to claim as our own mate. And I say claim, but claim's a strong word. Be able to entice, socialize with, and pick as our mate. It would be very interesting. I would love to read a study over how wolves pick their mates. And like mate rejection, like somebody who tries to come up and like, hey, form a pack with me and the other wolf was like no way I don't want to form a pack with you I would love to learn what kind of behavioral triggers um, the wolves actually interact with that way so let's all right Eclipse you're better suited for the shadows of the forest which is why I was hoping to find him a mate in the mountains because we stand out 
kind of stand out like a sore thumb in the open grasslands. I don't think this is going to help. He's not exactly a tiger who can hide in the grasses for stealth hunting. All right, are we almost to the wolf? Yeah, we're almost there. Into the other wolf territory. I would love to find his mate this time. All right, let's see where we're going. Oh, a coyote. All right, other wolf territory. I'll take care of your coyote problem for you. And then we should have over a thousand experience. Oh my gosh. Are we there? Oh yeah. We have already got tons of experience. Oh, and here's a territory marker. <gasps> All right, you guys. I think this is, this might be it. This might be it. This might be it. Be a female, be a female. Come on. All right. Is she here? Is she here? <gasps> there we go. Oh, it's another black wolf. Hey, you stand out quite a bit. How are you? Are you a male? Are you a female? It's a dispersal female! You guys, I think we just found our mate! Hello! I'm not sure about this. Uh, let's just jump right into it. So, you look gorgeous. I love your colors. Your beautiful black color. We should raise puppies in the shadows of the forest by the moonlight. What do you say? Let's start a pack. I'll wait and see. Um, hello there. Yeah, a little too... little. Oh, hello! Uh, I like you. Oh, and here's those behavioral triggers that I was just talking about. You gotta send the right social behaviors in order to be able to attract your mate. You stand out here as well. Like, we both don't look like we fit here. Oh, let's play. Oh, Eclipse. She's like, okay. Yeah, oh, look at her. I like her. All right. I think we found our mate. All right, let's start a pack. What do you think? What do you think, ma'am? Are we, are we enticing enough? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think we found our mat, our mate. Okay, so let's start a pack. Can we do this? Like, do we have her yet? Do we have to get like five little hearts? I'm not sure. We're, we're wolf dating right now. There's five hearts. Is that what we needed? So they're both happy with each other. This wolf, oh yes! This wolf becomes your mate. All right, you guys. So welcome to Twilight. That is the name that has been picked for a very long time. Oh my goodness, you guys have suggested hundreds of names. So hang in there. We'll have to have lots of wolves in the future because I don't have enough wolves to name all of the names. But we're going to name her Twilight because that goes very well with Eclipse and the moon theme and the space theme and just those kinds of colors that we have been focusing on. So there we go. Twilight, our gorgeous mate who looks kind of like a galaxy star star herself. She looks like her coat is just made of stars. This is very pretty. She has now become our mate and we are going to head off and get ready to have some puppies. So I will see you guys next time when we will be settling in and hopefully starting a family with Twilight and I cannot wait to share that with you. So hopefully there'll be puppies next time and I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.